what's up guys learning with rich here in this video after we learn how to add concrete beams so this time around we are going to add uh, structural beams to the entryway of the structure so we are also going to set the offset value for the steel beams that we will be placing to allow for the concrete slab that we will be added in the later exercise okay so let's do this so i'm going to zoom in to this area here this is where we are going to place our steel beam where we have placed our steel column okay so let's go to the structure tab and then from the structure panel i will be selecting here the structural framing beam let's select that one and from the type selector I will be selecting here uh, W wide flange type and then I'll use here 12 by 26 so W 12 by 26 so select this one and then um, for this I'll just make sure the tag on placement is checked so that we will be automatically placing the tag for this one okay and then also make sure that the chain here is checked so that we are going to continuously creating our uh, framing okay so using the line tool so let's start from here make sure it's on the midpoint so you click that and then click another point here there you go so there's our first one second one and you will also notice that the the tag is automatically placed let's place it here here and this one here and then after that just select here modify all right so the next thing that we're going to do is i'm going to select all of this element here and then i'll be using the selection box just click that to create the 3d view of those selected elements now the next thing that we are going to do is uh we are going to lower the offset value for all the beams that we have created to accommodate the slab that we will be adding in the future lesson. Okay, so I'm going to select one of the steel beam, right click, and then select all instances visible in view. So as you can see, it's now all selected. So we have six structural beam here. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in here so that you will see what will happen. So I'm going to zoom into this area. And by the way, these uh, blue lines that you're seeing on your uh, steel columns, so those are analytical model. And same with your beam here. So you will notice later on after I deselect the, the beams, you can also see the analytical model there. But anyway, let me turn on the thin lines here because it's really thick here. So I'm going to make it single line with so thin lines there you go okay so let's see what will happen oh so in that process the elements got deselected so let me just click again oh this is what i'm talking about you see those orange lines so those are analytical model of your beam anyway so i'm gonna click another uh frame here right click uh select all instances visible in view there you go and from the instance properties we have here a geometric position parameter so we are going to change the z justification okay so it specifies the location of the physical geometry with respect to the location line in the z direction meaning going up or going down so we can select uh, origin top center or bottom from the drop down menu okay so the according to the uh information this justification is dependent on how the element was drawn and based on the direction of axis of the coordinate system of the element okay so for the z justification i want that to be starting at the top and then for the offset value i'm gonna make that minus five inches so see what will happen once i apply there you go so it now goes down so if you turn on again or turn off the thin lines so there you go okay so there's now the offset value change here that will accommodate the 
slab that we will be adding in our future lesson. So there you go. So basically, that's how you add your steel beams. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.